It is a quick and for many of us affordable luxury, but visiting a nail salon might be hazardous to your health. Two years after the CBCI team brought us an investigation into nail salon safety, they've obtained new reports that show little has changed. CBC's Katie Nicholson has been digging into the story for us. Katie? Well, nail salons in Manitoba aren't inspected on a regular basis. Health inspections are triggered by complaints only. And in 2016, one third of the complaints received by Manitoba Health were founded. What I have here are 11 inspection reports. In one report, a worker with a bleeding open sore performed a manicure on a customer without wearing gloves. Another salon was inspected after a customer complained about having a hole drilled through her big toenail right to the skin. The salon staff allegedly offered to put a fake nail over the damaged one. An inspection found the salon was reusing disposables, that there was skin debris in the UV cabinet and on a handheld grinder, and there was nobody on site that could prove they held a license for beautician work. Not all complaints were about humans. Another salon was inspected after reports that a mangy dog in heat was on the premises. Two years ago, we sat down with Lisa Chaffley. She became critically ill following a pedicure. Doctors say she could have lost her foot or worse, her life. I couldn't believe that this was happening from a basic pedicure. We decided to show her the latest batch of the Manitoba Health Salon files. Hi, Lisa. Hi there. I've got some new inspection reports for you. Oh, wow. Well, am I going to like what I see? Uh, probably not. Cheffoli was dismayed to see the bulk of the investigations caught businesses reusing dirty tools. I can't believe it's still happening. These seem obvious things, especially the reusing of tools. Chaffley believes Manitoba Health should make these reports public and start fining and closing salons that don't follow the rules. I'm surprised there aren't any fines. I assume that there would be fines, much like they've done it on the restaurant side. But there's a reason health inspectors don't fine and close nail salons like they do for wayward restaurants and pools. We don't have a specific regulation for um, for uh, nail salons or for beauty services like we do with uh, with a, uh, a restaurant or a swimming pool. Mike LeBlanc says the legislation doesn't even allow them to post the information in these reports. And if the department were to start regular inspections of the nearly 1,000 businesses offering salon services in the province, the unit would have to hire six to eight more inspectors. We've looked at the medical evidence and um, we just can't put together enough of a business case to justify that sort of, uh, that sort of response to the, to the industry. But you might be surprised by who is calling for change in the complaint-based system. Don't wait until people complain because that's too late. Because that, it means somebody got hurt already. And Vaux's nail salon was inspected last year following a complaint. Vaux was ordered to make seven immediate improvements. He says the inspection process was valuable. We got a meeting right away. And from that point, we upgrade our equipment. We don't reuse tool. We everything in plastic bags, sanitize, queue properly. And after that, we throw right away in front of client. We want to improve our service, our quality, and our safety. As for the health minister, his office says... The current complaint-based program in place by public health has been successful in addressing the low volume of health and safety concerns reported by the public. With such a small volume of complaints and a low burden of illness in the industry, public health is not recommending changes to the program at this time. Not the kind of thing Cheffoli wants to hear. It's really sad that at this point, here we are three years later, and nothing has been done. There's been a lot of attention. There's a lot of people who care. Um, I, I just think it's really sad that it hasn't been taken seriously. So Katie, where are there regular inspections of nail salons? Well, Janet, you don't have to go very far. In Ontario, it generally falls to municipalities to regularly inspect salons. Now, when Ottawa inspected all of its salons back in 2015, a little more than a thousand of them, it found one in five had a deficiency the inspector considered critical, including instruments that weren't properly disinfected or sterilized. So it does make you wonder what inspectors here might find where they'd go into each and every business offering these services here in Manitoba. Janet? Katie Nicholson reporting tonight. Thank you, Katie.